Hi there, I'm Kaya from Snorkel Planet. Today we take a look at snorkeling on the Hawaiian Big Island. I cover my favorite beaches, bays, and the marine life to expect. My first pick is Mauna Kea Beach. Up in the northwest of the Big Island, Mauna Kea Beach offers a long white sandy shore with two reefs to explore at both ends. In my opinion, the northern reef attracts a more diverse marine life than its southern twin. Compared to some other locations that I cover in this video, Mauna Kea Beach comes with some awesome facilities. There's even a hotel. Not only showers and restrooms, but also a restaurant and even a bar are situated right on the beach. Underwater visibility is usually quite good, but you have to know where the shallow snorkel areas are located. Common fish species include triggerfish, butterfly fish, goatfish, parrotfish, jackfish, unicornfish, and even trumpet fish. The coral isn't great, unfortunately. My second pick is Wailea Bay. Wailea Bay is only a 15-minute car drive towards the south from Mauna Kea Beach. Within the bay, you'll find a very cozy little beach called Beach 69. Now, this beach isn't exactly meant for sunbathing, since it almost disappears during high tide. However, the remaining beach is packed with trees that provide shady areas directly on the shoreline. This picture shows you the northern part of the beach because that's where, in my opinion, snorkeling is best. You enter from a sandy area, after which you could snorkel towards the center of the beach. That's where you find the reef and bigger fish species. Underwater visibility is decent, but could be better. However, the marine life makes up for that with damselfish, boxfish, triggerfish, butterflyfish, bluefin trevally, parrotfish, snapper, tang, and more. Corals include cauliflower, rice, and lobe. My third pick is Kahalu'u Beach Park. Kahalu'u Beach Park is quite rocky with a few sandy areas here and there. You'll find a passage through these rocks that guides you towards the snorkel area. You'll end up at the shallow center of the beach within a number of protective reefs. Even though the ocean floor isn't exactly exciting, the coral reef and its marine life are really impressive. You'll soon spot large schools of yellow tang and maybe even a sea turtle. Common fish species include unicorn fish, butterfly fish, parrotfish, triggerfish, and Moorish idol. Corals include cauliflower and star. My fourth pick is Kiala Kikua Bay. South of Kahalu'u Beach Park, you'll find Kiala Kakua Bay, which hosts the famous Captain Cook Monument. As you can see from this picture, joining a boat tour is certainly worth it. You could hike the Kaawaloa Trail or rent a kayak. However, a boat tour will take you directly to the Kiala Kakua Bay Marine Sanctuary. If you visit Kiala Kakua Bay, consider to also snorkel at the Captain Cook Monument. This picture is an aerial view, so you get the idea of why this spot is very popular among snorkelers. Crystal clear water with great visibility allows you to observe this shallow coral reef. Sea turtles enjoy this coastline quite a bit, so expect to spot a few. Furthermore, you'll find surgeonfish, trumpetfish, parrotfish, butterflyfish, triggerfish, wrasse, and Moorish idol. Corals include cauliflower, lobe, and finger. My fifth pick is Honaunau Bay. Within this bay, there's one snorkel spot in particular to know about called Two Step. People often call this location Two Step Beach, but don't let that fool you because this is mainly a rocky area. The name refers to two steps from which you enter the water. Please be aware that this isn't the easiest location to reach. The area is rocky, and even entering the water can be tricky for some of us. Weather and water conditions must allow for snorkeling, so inquire about that up front. Fortunately, you don't need to swim out far. There's plenty to see within the shallow water next to the shore. Even better, underwater visibility is usually great. Besides sea turtles, expect to observe squirrelfish, parrotfish, trumpetfish, triggerfish, butterflyfish, snapper, Moorish idol, wrasse, and tang. Corals include cauliflower, finger, lobe, and rice. My sixth pick is Black Beach. This is my only tip for people who visit the south of the Big Island. I personally prefer the west coast, but Black Beach in the south is surprisingly great fun. Officially known as Panalu'u Beach, 
This location stands out from the crowd with its black beach, palm trees, and sunbathing sea turtles. Visibility is only great when weather conditions are calm. As you can see from this picture, Black Beach is a rocky area. Even the ocean floor is quite rocky. The water can be a little cold, and the marine life is limited. This location is mostly about observing sea turtles, even hawksbill. Common fish species include Moorish Idol and Convict Tang. My seventh pick is Richardson Ocean Park, located on the East Coast. One of the best things about this park is the fact that outer reefs protect a shallow pool where snorkeling is surprisingly great. As long as weather conditions are calm, you'll be able to observe the coral reef and all of its inhabitants. One downside of Richardson Ocean Park is its rocky landscape. There are a few small black beaches that allow you to sunbathe or to enter the water. Just keep in mind that the park is mostly rocky. If you can, try to visit during the week because weekends are usually crowded. Showers and restrooms are available, but you won't find any restaurants. Underwater visibility is pretty good. Even better, the northern part of the pool allows you to snorkel in shallow water, right above a diverse marine life. Besides sea turtles, expect to see Sergeant Major, unicorn fish, butterfly fish, Moorish idol, wrasse, tang, moray eels, and maybe even a barracuda. We cover all these snorkel spots in more detail on our website. I added links in the description of this video, or simply visit us at snorkelplanet.com.